There you go, guys. Sorry for the sound of the lawn equipment in the background. Some of these tools, these are like leftovers. We got an old craftsman, foot pounds only, beam type torque wrench. All you gotta do is bend this to zero and it's perfectly accurate. They used to adjust click types with beam types. And beam types have a purpose. Okay, so you got that one. Then you get a little newer. It's not a craftsman, just a dirt on these things. Okay. Then this one I found odd. This one's in foot pounds and kilograms. It's usually Newton meters. So that's pretty cool. Nobody wants this stuff. And then an inch pounder with a red pointer. So this thing is probably from the 80s. The other ones are much older. And this is a CS Craftsman. The other ones say Craftsman with the, I think it was the 60s logo on them. I think that's the 60s logo on these things. And all the other ones say Made in USA. This one's nice because it's inch pounds and Newton meters. So why would you use this you can go out and spend anywhere from $20 to probably a couple of grand on a click type. You can't use a click type if you're doing turning torque. Okay? And people don't know what turning torque is. There's starting torque and there's turning torque. So let's just assume we're doing one of those lug nuts over there. So I got this, the lug nuts tight, and I go over there and I just keep turning it, turning it, turning it, and then, and then the, and it's moving, 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 moving. Then all of a sudden it breaks free, and I continue to turn it. This is going to kick back, and then slowly go back up, okay? If the bolt is loose, and you're tightening it, this is going to go, 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 until you, you know, until you say, okay, I've had enough, and you stop. The key is not to stop, and the key is to keep this handle in the middle. This thing is calibrated for this thing to float in the center, not for it to be pegged to one side or pegged to the other. That's why they put the pivot there. They're basing it off this point, not this point. Okay? So now, I put this on something, and I'm just tightening a bolt. I do it. Like I said, the key is not to stop. So if I'm going to say, we'll just pick some 100 inch pounds, and I'm at 95 and I stop for a second, go again, it might read 100 right off the bat because I went from turning torque to starting torque and it takes more to break something free than to keep it moving. Okay, so you're tightening up a lug nut, tightening up a head ball, I don't know, rocker shafts or whatever. You tighten it and it stops. Perfectly accurate. It can shake a little bit if you're putting 150 foot pounds into it. Turning torque. Okay, what is turning torque used for? Turning torque, well, at least for me, was always used for when you're putting bearings together. Something with a bearing where it needs a certain drag. And I'll give you an example, a rear end, a rear diff. Okay, um, you're setting up a rear diff. So you put the pinion bearings in, no seal. And you have to do a turning torque. So that means you have it assembled, no gear. Okay, it's just a pinion in there, a pinion gear two bearings no uh, ring gear you put this thing on there and you turn it in circles and it might want 20 inch pounds that sounds about right 20 inch pounds of turning torque so as that thing is spinning this would go to say 20 which would be right there if I use a click type how's it gonna work what am I gonna do set it at 20 I go to move it it's just gonna click set it at 30 it might never click um, I mean, what I have is I have a real accurate one with a dial on it. You know what I mean? If you're going to go down to, say, 20 inch pounds for that, I would use the dial type. But if you need something that has turning torque in inch pounds or something like that at 100, these are fine. Just got to make sure that that pointer is not dragging on there. This could come used to come up a little bit. And underneath that pointer, put a drop of oil. And it won't, it won't do that tick, 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 skip. Okay, this doesn't exactly have wear marks on it, so um, 
So that's the difference. So are these things accurate? These things are very accurate. The people shun them. Oh, you just built a mole with one of those. You don't know what you're doing. They're talking out their ass. That's all I got to say. Newer and more expensive is not always better. Remember that. Okay. Then you come to me. You want a $15,000 engine assembled. You see me use one of these. You'll leave and never come back. But I'll guarantee you that it's going to be just as accurate as your snap on click type thing. Like I said, use them, test them. Take this on the 3 8 scale and take your click type and you turn them opposite each other. And see what this read when it reads with this when the other one clicks. You might surprise yourself. You went on a bunch of different levels. So, like I said, it's old school. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Couldn't get a dollar for this thing if you wanted to. Where's it going? Oh, my house. Well, my other collection of beam types. I got a, I have 